What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I'm going to show you my setup on my Google Pixel XL phone. So if you're interested in this, you can set it up the same way I have it. I am rocking the Google Pixel launcher. I was using for years, I was using uh, the Nova launcher. I've now switched and I'm using just the Google Pixel launcher. Obviously, if I switched phones, I'd probably either go to the Google launcher or just go back to the Nova launcher. But since I'm rocking the Pixel, I'll just use the Pixel launcher, and this comes built in with the phone so you don't have to change anything. So if you like it, you're going to love it. So uh, the I have all my stuff kind of the same way I had it set up uh, with my Nova launcher. I have all my stuff into folders. Like I have all the stuff I read, which is... Uh, uh, BR team feed, which is a sports thing, TMZ, get my gossip news. I've got my e wrestling because I like getting my wrestling news, big wrestling fan. News on Android, that's probably the app I use the most in here. I get all my Android news there. Get, definitely download that app, it's really cool. Uh, Daily Mail, which is another good uh, news app. You get a lot of gossipy news, weird news, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, and then you also have your uh, Amazon Kindle, which I never use. I should probably just remove it, delete it. Uh, going into my social feeds, I have Hangout Styler, so if I want to make a phone call and I'm international. I have uh, Instagram, Yelp. Yelp is going to be where I get all my food reviews for restaurants no matter where I am. Twitter, Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, Facebook, and Buy Go Live, which I've been doing every Sunday so far. I'm actually going to do that Sunday, which is today. I'll be doing that at 4 p.m. Pacific if you want to hang out with me there. On Google, I have my, G my Google Maps, my Waze. My subscriber count, so I can keep track of how many subscribers I have. Me and my boy, uh, Michael Tobin, who's initial focus. I follow both of us to see how many subscribers we have. I also have YouTube, so I can watch videos and stuff like that. Google Photos, and then I have my uh, YouTube studio, which shows me all my YouTube stats uh, for my channel. I also have MIPC. This is going to be my cameras. So... If you have cameras set up in your house and you have these app and these you have, you have these cameras, uh, you can view them. They're currently offline because I just changed my Wi-Fi password, so I need to set that back up. Under music, I am having uh, Alexa, which allows me to control my Alexa. Which she just heard me say that she just beeped. <laughs> She's probably you can probably hear her talking right now. I also have uh, Pocket Cast. Listen to all my um, my. All my uh, po uh, all my uh, podcasts on my podcast, so I love that app. Really cool app. I also have uh, Google Home, so I can control my Google Home devices. I have two of those, so I can control them right there. I have SoundCloud to listen to music, other cool stuff. Spotify, which is going to be where I listen to all my music. Google Play Music, which I also have since I'm a subscriber to YouTube Red. I just like, I use it more for YouTube Red more than anything, but it does come with uh, music, just like Spotify. And then I have TuneIn Radio, so when there's something big in the news, like the election or some kind of cat cat catastrophe or something like that, I usually listen to uh, TuneIn Radio. I'll put it on CNN Radio to listen to that. Files, I use Dropbox sometimes. <clears throat> File Explorer is my new favorite file exploring app it's if you especially if you pay for it, it has no ads it was it's like i think it's 99 dollars 99 cents right now not 99 dollars uh, and then i also have send files this is a cool app uh initial focus told me about this one um and he's a youtuber like and i showed him a second ago anyways he showed me this it's really cool it allows you to send and receive apps to anybody so if you choose the app um if so you say, say you were sending me an app, you could be anywhere. You could be across the world or right next to me. If you want to send me a, 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 a file, you can do that. And then you just give me, you'll get a specific code. I'll put the code in here and it'll automatically transfer me the, the file. Have it be a video, a picture, it doesn't matter. It could be really big gigs and gigs. And it works on your computer too. So usually when I uh, do a video or something on my phone, I'll actually, sometimes the easiest thing for me instead of plugging my phone in is to just open this app and then open it on my computer and then send it to myself wirelessly. So a really cool app. It's called Send Anywhere. I have Google Duo to make my video calls. It's, that's the I, it's the, I, the uh, Google, Google's video chat program if you want to pick that up very very cool it's a uh, facetime competitor under shopping uh, i have amazon slick deals which is a deal site that allows you to look for different deals i have ebay target 
uh, Uber, Lyft, Walmart, Prime Now. Prime Now is going to allow me to buy things on Amazon really quickly. Uh, we can get them within like two hours. McDonald's, Best Buy, and Target. Mostly in here, I just use Amazon and Slick Deals, and then some of the other apps sporadically. Uh, Nest is going to allow me to control the temperature in my house. So if I want to change the temperature, or uh, I also have my my smoke alarm carbon monoxide protector on here as well. So if that goes off, it's going to alert my phone no matter where I am in the world. Google Photos has all my photos backed up in, is the place I look at all my photos as well. Gaming, which I really don't game that much on my phone. I'll play solitaire here and there if I'm you know, bored and I'm on a long trip or something. But I have my Xbox and my PlayStation uh, apps in here. For Xbox, if you want to add me, it's Greggles TV, just like my channel all together. And on PlayStation, it's Lazy Greg. It's L-A-Z-Y. G-R-E-G-G, -G, Lazy Greg on PlayStation, if you want to add me there. Banking, I have Discover, Venmo, PayRange. PayRange is kind of a cool app. You can actually buy stuff at vending machines that have it, and right with your phone. It's an app, and you add, a, you add some money to the app, and it allows you to view that stuff, buy that stuff, I should say. So it's really cool. Chase app, Bank of America, PayPal, uh, Patreon. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can. Uh, I also have my AT&T to pay my AT&T bill. But mostly in here, it's mostly Venmo and PayPal and probably B of A and Chase. I use those. And actually, actually, you know what? I use almost all these apps on a regular basis. So they are really cool apps. I have my camera app, even though I can double tap on the home button to access it as well. I have my video app, which is my WWE. I watch a lot of wrestling. Not so much on my phone, though. Cody which allows you to watch really anything you want. Netflix, Fire TV app allows me to control my Fire TV with my controller, and Twitch. Twitch is cool too. If you, uh, if you like watching people play video games, that's a great app. And then I have my Play Store right here. So when I want to download apps, whatever it may be, I will do that. On the bottom here, I have my phone dialer so I can make phone calls. I have my Chrome so I can browse the internet. Gmail has everything I have, all my Yahoo, all my Gmail accounts. This is uh, Google Allo, so it's their, their new messaging app. It's kind of in the iMessage range. You can't uh, text message from it yet, but it does pretty much everything else in terms of messaging and change the themes, all kinds of cool stuff. It's a cool app. I like it a lot. And then I have my text messaging app, which is just Google Messenger. I've switched over to that. I was using uh, Textra, and now I've switched over to this. I really like this app now. It's, it's, it's good. And then on my other page here, this is usually the, the page I use to make sure that things need, will make it <laughs> to the one of the folders. Uh, and I have AZ Screen Recorder, which I do use a fair amount of time. I should actually move that into a folder. I have uh, InShot, which is a uh, Instagram video picture editor. YouTube Music allows you to listen to music on YouTube. I have a uh, photo scan, which is Google's new app that allows you to take a photo and kind of use your phone as a scanner. So that's a cool one. PlayStation Messages allows you to chat with your PlayStation friends through an app. I don't know why it's not in the PlayStation app, but they made a separate app for it. But PlayStation me Messages, that's what that does. Uh, Daydream is the app to use on your uh, Daydream VR viewer. Guitar Tuna allows me to tune my guitar if I need to with my phone. These are awesome apps. Really, uh, this is free too. So if you play guitar, get that, which I do play guitar. And then Fantastic Beast, which is an app for the Google Daydream. And that's pretty much it. You can, you can swipe up from the bottom to access all your apps. You don't have to use a home button. Uh, if I swipe over to the left, I have you know my news that's relevant to me or things that are coming up for my for my uh, life. So it's very very cool. I'm digging this phone. I'm digging this launcher. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know what your favorite apps are as well. I'm curious. Maybe I'll add some of your apps. Maybe you'll add some of my apps that I use. So thanks for watching, guys. See you down the road. Peace.